when did Ian start writing um, Joe Pete? You'd mentioned that it was a long time ago. Yeah, and, and that um, I think that's the strangest thing for me. So when Ian was working on a new book of poetry or he was working on a story idea, uh, I was often his soundboard and uh, he would be excited about it and he'd talk about it. Um, I didn't find out about Joe Pete till after his death. So I don't know how when he started. I don't know how long he worked on it. Obviously, there was years of work there. But uh, it was something he kept very close to his breast. I I was um, surprised to learn about Joe Pete. Now, he had always spoken about our past. And he talked about, you know, he was uh, the stories that mom had told him, that grandmom had told us. Uh, but that he was putting it together like this was... A hundred percent surprise to me. A wonderful that's, surprise. A surprise. Yeah, <laughs> that is that's incredible. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It, um, I know you'd mentioned so it was a surprise, but did did he share or did you find out from Louisa what what was the spark that was just like I've got to write this book? Did he share that with anyone? Do you know? No, no. That yeah. you know what? And and uh, I really wish I knew. I really, yeah. there were so many things that happened in our life. You know, um, both my grandmother and my grandfather uh, are residential survivors. And just like my grandfather never spoke about the war, my father never spoke about the war, every once in a while, droplets of that past would drip out. And I can remember maybe two or three occasions that either my mother well, my grandmother would would say something, some little bit. And I'm sure that would intrigue you, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I would think that it was probably one of those little epiphanies that that inspired him. 